Good morning, it's Mary Beth Shaw from Stencil Girl Products. I don't normally let people see me at this time of the day. Don't have any makeup, I'm getting ready to go work out in a class and easing into my day. But I thought what I would do is show you a little bit behind the scenes of Stencil Girl and you can see what goes on here. So here we are. And I'm going to turn the camera around and show you a little bit of what's going on here. And I'm going to back out. This is our basement. Yeah, I've got a stencil company in my basement. I know, it seems crazy. This is the computer where our shipping person sits. That's usually Carol. And she's not here yet. We get started a little bit later in the day because our orders come in all day long and we like to get them in the mail as quickly as possible. So we, you know, let a few orders accumulate and then we get going with shipping and so forth. Good morning, Mary Nasser. How are you? You can see through the little view here. Good morning, Michelle that my husband John is over there working already. He's waving to the camera. So one of the things that John and I do every morning is we exercise. I know it's, uh, it's a real commitment and we didn't always used to do this, but about a year ago I got a pre-osteoporosis diagnosis and I realized that I probably needed to be lifting weights or doing something. So I started lifting weights and working with a group of women. And so now he and I make a commitment to do that every day. I'll show you my arm. I've actually developed some muscles here. I know, first time in my life, right? At age 55. So at this time of day, normally we're getting ready to go take our walk together or I'm gonna go to an exercise class or something like that. In fact, my class is a little bit later today, so I thought I would film early and show you guys some stuff that's going on behind the scenes here. Hey Peg, good morning. So first I'll show you the lay of the land in the studio. These are all stencils. These are all the nine by 12 stencils and they are organized by their numbers and also their names, but really it's by number because when the order comes in, the number comes up on the pack. And I'm losing the connection, so bear with me. Okay, it just popped back in. But as you can see, we have a ton of nine by 12 stencils. I mean a ton. So over here is where all the six by six stencils are organized. And this is probably giving you a feel for the fact that we, we are a, a small company. It's me, my husband, my son-in-law. We have a few people. We have Mary Nasser who helps us out with so social media. We have Carol Baxter who helps me with newsletters and such. But, you know, we manufacture here and we ship here, we package here, and which brings me to the packaging. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Karen Gaunt. We don't package when we just ship to you guys if you order off the internet. And the reason for this is because I want to stay as green as we can. And I, I don't like to spend the time and or the money packaging stencils when I know that the packaging is just going to be thrown away. So that's why we don't package. We do package when we go into retail settings. I want to show you something that I'm very excited about and proud of. And this is our map, our world map. Oh, Peg, thank you. She says, you do a wonderful job. And Susie Dennis says, this is cool to see. Yeah, I know. You just don't imagine that, you know, we're all coming from somebody's basement. Okay, so, hey, honey, help me out. The red dots are retail, the white. Wholesale. Are, no, the red are wholesale, the no, white. Red are retail. Okay. 
and the white is wholesale, although I don't have all of the American up. Like okay. You look at Australia. I've okay. got it finished for wholesale. Okay. So I don't know if you were able to hear John since I've got the mic, but the red are where we have people ordering from us over the internet, and the white are where we have stores selling our stencils. So you can look and see through the United States. South Africa, or South America, gosh, my geography is off, eh? We have a store selling our stencils in South America. Look up here, Iceland. We have people who've ordered from Iceland. Look at the UK and France and across Europe. And where did we get an order the other day, John? You told me New Delhi, India. India, just south of there. India, south of New Delhi. We were so excited. Hey, John, Mary Nasser says hi. Hi, Mary. <laughs> he said hi back, Mary. So Karen Gaunt says our packaging works perfectly going over to Ireland. Great to know, Karen. I'm glad to hear that. Look at this, Malaysia. We have retail orders and we have a store in Australia. I have to say I'm pretty rocked by the people in Australia who love us. In New Zealand. And then there's this little place that we had to look up. New Caledonia. We didn't even know where that was. Carol Howard just joined us. Carol does shipping for Stencil Girl products. She works with us three days a week. And I'm sure she remembers that day when New Caledonia came in. Oh, Susie, you can hear Dennis. Great. Or you can hear Susie. Dennis can hear John Shaw. See, you're seeing Mary Beth without coffee this morning. And it's a little bit scary. But this is one of the things I'm so proud of. Hey, Christy, is that we have managed just out of our basement just a few little people manufacturing stencils here in the United States that we've managed to, to touch people all around the world. And it's, I don't know, it blows my mind because we are not a company that has done advertising. We haven't been able to afford that. We haven't gone to CHA or done the normal route for a craft company. But I have just sort of followed my gut. And you know what? My gut tells me that teachers need stencils to teach with. And so that's always been my direction, is get the stencils into the hands of people who can use them and share them with others and spread the word kind of one by one. These folders are stencil club back you know, back, 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 back years ago. So once you're in Stencil Club, you are, you have the privilege to order the past months of Stencil Club if you want. And so that's why we store these. Cecilia Hoffman just jumped on, my sister-in-law. She has helped us out during Cyber Monday last year. So she knows this area very well as she basically lived down here for a week. Karen Gaunt says that what sets us apart is our social media. Well, hey, Mary Nasser, I hope you're patting yourself on the back. So let me walk across to John's little area here. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you is the floor, if I can get out of the glaring sun. We have these mats that are comfortable to walk on, you know, like um, they're cushy so you don't hit, hurt your back because the basement is concrete. And we know that um, Carol and John do a lot of standing and we don't want their little tootsies and their backs and stuff to be hurt. So we have these mats all over the floors, which are really, they are really nice to stand on. John is working on getting us ready for a show. We're going to be going to... Um, the Great American Scrapbook Show in Arlington, Texas next week. And so he has got boxes and boxes of packaged stencils here just ready to go. Some of you have maybe never even seen one of our packaged stencils if you order from us. But this is what the packaging looks like. 
It's just got a real simple Stencil Girl products sleeve. The back of the packaging. Christy Taylor said, hi, honey. Well, okay. she didn't say hi, honey. She said, hi, John. <laughs> um, the back of it is actually from a piece of art I made using a bunch of our stencils. And then I tell about how the stencils are made of mylar and so forth on the back. So every single thing in this business has been done kind of just by us, by me, by John, by Mary, by our artists, our designing artists. And, you know, that's the way we like it. We might be a little smaller than everybody else, but I am pretty rocked with all of the stencils that we have and the quality of our artists and the quality of our customers. That's what makes it. Which brings me to today's offerings. Beth Shaw Karfs just dropped on, my lovely stepdaughter, and she's going to get to see our new offerings today, just in time for 4th of July. Hey, Marianne and Kathy Nichols. These are by June Path Daily. Beth said, hi, Dad. Honey, you want to wave to your daughter? He said, hi. See, he's ready to walk. Can you see that? We're, we're going to have to go work out when I get off of here. So these are by June Path Daily, and they are fireworks. But you've got to go over to the blogs. Look at the sess, Patty. Hang on. <laughs> I know. I love them all. Um, you've got to go over to the blog and see all the stuff that June did with these because she's turned them from fireworks into flowers and all sorts of things. But they are so fascinating, and I love the options with them. And then look at this one. It's got all these boom, crash. Bam! But what's so cool is um, you get the little masks with these. This part will cut out and um, over here, see that little zigzaggy? So you can have all kinds of options if you want to put little captions with any of your work. I am dying to use this guy in my journal. Just dying. I just think it'll be great. And you know, I think my grandsons might need that one, too, for some of their work. What do you think, Beth? I think they might. Here's another fireworks stencil. But think beyond fireworks because look at these swooshes and these different marks. So, so cool. And the intricacy. I have to say, June is an amazing designer. Then this is a nice pattern motif that will go along with or separate from this um, kind of fireworks celebratory look. And then, you know, you'd think we would have had this stencil years ago, but we didn't. All different sizes of stripes. I am digging this. So here, hey honey, are there stars? There's stars that go with this. Aren't there? I think that's everything that's coming out today. No, there's military style stars that are six by six, I think, that go with. Um... So, see these stripes? You can make little flags if you have the stars. And um, unless I've lost my mind, which is quite possible. But with these stripes, I see the stripes for so, 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 so many things, rather than, um, I mean, obviously you can make flags and such, but I can see them for a lot more. Then there's the little six by six firework stencil, which I adore. And we're still looking around to see about this star thing. Maybe I've lost my mind and we don't have a star stencil, but I think we do. This is one of the downsides of live, right? 400, I didn't pull it. 400, okay. It is number 400, Military Stars. Yes, there it is. So it's a six by six stencil of stars. So you could make flags. You can do so many things with June's new stencils. I just love them. Yeah, Carol Howard, you can use them to draw pencil lines for your writing in your journal. You know, honestly, that's what I was thinking too. When I first saw them, I really loved the stripes. And yeah, I love the ideas of 
making flags, but I wanted to make lines for my journals. Patty, you are so right. Flower bouquets. You guys have got to go over to the blog seriously and see the stuff that June Paff Daily made. I mean, cute, cute, cute. Then, also on the blog today is a video of me and my pal, Seth After, because he has three new stencils. And I'm going to start over here with Now is the Time. These are the stencil mask combos where the edges of it, see how that edge is like a free edge? It becomes a mask, but then there's a stencil in the middle, then there's another word, but then look at these all different sides. You get these little border component parts that are so, so cool. I love these stencils. And then this one, you know, I have this thing for throwing numbers in my work. So, of course, I love this. Gerilyn says, it's morning. You're unpredictable. Yes, I am unpredictable. <laughs> Just ask the man. He can tell you. So, this, I love these numbers and make it count. And once again, you have these raw edges that can give you these fantastic looking um, outlines or just marks or whatever you want them to be. They're so cool. And then finally, and this is why I did this in the morning. You got this. This is what we hear when we exercise. This is what our teacher tells us when we're in a class and we're all about to pass out and we can't lift the weight anymore and we're losing it. She's like, you got this. You got this. And you know, then I realized Marie Forleo, who is kind of one of my idols. I really respect her ideas on business and so forth. She says this a lot too. And you got this is such an affirmational phrase. I asked Seth to make me a stencil that said, you got this. And I love the stencil so much. He put drips in there because he knows how I love my drips. And you've got these edges that are so cool. And you got this. So this is what I say to you today. You got this. It's a new day. Go out there and conquer the world. And go around to Stencil Girl Talk and take a look at the blog today. And maybe you just might want to get some new stencils. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care.